Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 117 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. Oh. I told myself, we, I told you guys we would go down and collect some materials, but first let's see what Kisner has to say. So out in the courtyard, the Knights are gathered together with a bunch of wooden swords. So in charge of this particular group, Kisnir is shouting out. So now we're going to commence today's trainings. Since it's practice fighting, everybody get a partner and start Kumite. And some dipshit decides to challenge Kisnir to some sparring. Alright then, come at me. So the two of them have their wooden swords and they go at it. <laughs> so prepare yourself. Your attraction is slow. If you do it like that, she'll soon be able to take your arms off. And as she's saying that, she glances aside the, his particular sword and smacks him in the arm. <laughs> Grunt, but I'm not over it. Alright then. Keep at it. So, these sounds repeat across most of the courtyard. And Avaro is just kind of watching. He's got some free time, so he's, uh... He gets to relax while these people are working hard. Well, he has his own set of duties that make him to wear him out after all. Alright. This ends today's training. Class dismissed. So all the knights gathered in the courtyard start dispersing. So Varro goes to talk to Kisnir and offers her a drink that he happened to buy. We never hear or see of the drink again. Alright, good work. You always seem to be doing this. Well, thanks then. Kisner noticed that Avaro had been watching. Did he have any business with her? Yeah, if he did, he would have called out to her. I've always just liked watching, so he decided to. He was thinking to himself, these guys are training hard every day like this. Well, more than these guys, the person Avaro was watching was Kisner herself. With the continuing effort, it's certainly going to make us more powerful here on the castle. And watching these, the Night Corps training so hard, everybody feels safer on account of it. So Kisner smiles a bit and grips that wooden sword of hers tightly. Well, you never know when something unexpected is going to happen. So, it's part of the job that the knights do this. And Kisner has kind of noticed something about this. In the end, when she's training her body and polishing her techniques, and knowing that someday she'll be able to protect somebody, 
She likes doing it. And that's why she can continue to do this every day. Not only her sword training, but also her work as a knight. <laughs> and Avaro too goes every day to his workshop and does his work there because he likes it, right? Mm, well, yes. Yeah, furthermore, it's kind of a daily routine that he's gotten used to. Yeah, and the fact that he decided to become an engineer is also because he liked the lifestyle of it as well. So a daily routine, is it? Those words give a firmness to the habit. Kisner too, as herself, as a knight, and as a wielder of the sword, has her own little daily routine. And saying this, Kisner gives a sharp expression and looks straight at Avaro's face. So Avaro said to her once that allies are people that support each other in their various shortcomings. So when she heard it, she remembered and she's been thinking over the meaning of the words since then. So what it is to be allies and when there is a problem that occurs, how you can get through it without having too short of this, yeah. Without having any discourage, discourage, discrepancy. Insufficiency? I'm certain there's a word that I need to find for this. Huh. In any case, when working together, we have enough power to get through without anybody suffering through it. So, well, as usual, she's so serious. But then again, that's one of Kissner's good points. So Kissner's still smiling. And says, so, what she has thought up is that while well, the knights come in and train like this, in addition, if there were any hopefuls among the residents, we could allow them to participate as well. So Kisner thinks that as the people who can fight increase, then the number of options available to us is also increased. So, in addition to the knights being able to fight, if the people were also able to have the power to defend themselves, then the dead and the wounded would be decreased. Isn't that right? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> if everybody on the castle were as strong as Kisner, that would be pretty reliable. Hmm, on the other hand, if there was... If they were as strong as some of the clumsier knights, that would kind of be cr a bit scary as well. But if everybody has the power to defend themselves, it's definitely not a bad thing. So, 
Kisner is glad that Avaro likes the idea. Avaro が同意してくれるなら、希望者を募った時に寂しい思いをせず済みそうだ。So since Avaro is on her side with this, she thinks that looking for hopefuls among the townspeople. Well, she felt if she was doing it by herself, she, she would be lonely in a, her recruitment, but she feels with Avaro, at least, being on her side, she won't need to feel isolated in trying to, you know, recruit. <laughs> well, if Avaro, if Avaro's guarantee is worth anything, that's good. And if you'd like a dojo built, be sure to tell him. He'll get one ready for you. Hmm. Kisner is glad for the offer, but as she says, the sword doesn't pick a place. If there's going to be a battle, you need to be able to do it pretty much anywhere. So you eat all mote, Imamo Kishidan no Kunden deva, Hirobo, Shio Sasatemorate Jokuda. And that's the reason why they choose to practice in the courtyards like they do. Well, that kind of training is also, you know, it draws eyes. So getting yourself out in front of people is also a good way to keep the awareness of the knights up. But Avaro still thinks having a place to go would be a good idea as well. After all, everybody when they start is a beginner. And if it's too tough, they won't be able to continue with the training. When you're indoors, you don't need to worry about the weather. And you can also handle the brightness better. So if it's easier to learn, then it's easier to remember. And in a good building, that kind of thing. If you had a good building to look at, then, you know, the hopeful children would be able to look at it saying to themselves, hey, I'll get to learn the sword there one day. Yeah, she admits that line of reasoning has its appeal. So she gives a big nod and a gentle smile. Hmm. Okay, Avaro, you remember this, right? So when she decided to accept Fia as her master and protect the castle, what they said at that time, yeah. It didn't seem like their relationship had really changed much at the time. But Fia, but Kisner did say that she would serve Fia. So what Fia said at that time, Kisner has remembered all this time and has been thinking it over. So, the person who is suitable to be Kisner's lord is Avaro, you. Huh? Yeah, nice response, Avaro. So what a lord is to Kisner is someone who shows the way and guides. And on that point, Avaro always in his words and his deeds is always guiding Kisnir. Yeah, uh, Avaro's pretty well humbled by the praise she's giving him. 
あなたのために剣を振るいたい。So, Kisner is going to choose Avaro. Choose to serve Avaro and to choose to wield her sword for his sake. あなたのそばで多くの人々を守っていきたいのだ。And she wants to protect lots of people at his side. So, she's got some serious thoughts spilling out on Navarro here. Since she lost her old lord, and she traveled across these countries in order to find a place for herself, she's finally come to this earnest confession. So, Navarro steps up and Accepts it as an honor that she would take him as her lord. <laughs> Although he still thinks he's not exactly qualified. If Kisno will continue to lend us her power like she has, he is honestly glad for it. So, if he's good enough, great, let's do it. So, together, let's protect this castle that Fia has built and make it a warm and inviting place and stuff. So, of all kind of sounds, makes that sound proper. And Kisner places her hand on her heart and closes her eyes. So, Avaro, here on this stage of this Guadalacuna castle, in this way we'll continue to do this and bring overflowing abundance to the people on the castle. So she swears on her sword until the day that she dies. She and Avaro serving the goddess Fia. Well, she with Avaro serving the goddess Fia will protect this place that Avaro has built. So now we've had a proper declaration that Kisner is going to be. A knight of the castle. We.、Oui. So that is that. And next up is coming here to mine the purple magic ore. It's been kind of hit and miss in my trial runs. So you may just see me coming back here six or eight or whatever times. I'll try and think of. Brand new ways to swear at the game if it gets really stubborn. But anyway. <laughs> okay. I got eight of them. I got eight. In my latest trial run, I ran that place twice and got zero both times. I, did I say it was hit and miss? It's hit and miss. So we're ready to build this thing. Unfortunately, it's got a rather long thing attached to it, and we should probably wait till next time. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.